Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome to eSpares. In this video, I'll be helping you to diagnose and fix blockage issues in your Bosch washing machine. Now, always work safely. Disconnect the appliance before you start the repair. There could be a number of reasons as to why your washing machine is having blockage issues, but I'm going to take you through each of the causes to help you find a solution to the problem. I'm going to start by checking the filter. Now, the filter does need to be checked regularly, otherwise it gets blocked, and if it does, you will get an error code. It is located here at the bottom right-hand corner of the machine, behind this cover. So just drop this down and remove, and here we have the filter. Now, before I open this up, what I'm going to do is put a towel down to collect any excess water, and also use an old washing up bowl so that I can use the emergency drain hose here. Just open that up and empty whatever water's inside there into the washing up bowl. Once the water has been removed from the emergency drain hose, I can put that back into position and then take out the filter by turning it anti-clockwise. When you get the filter out, make sure you give it a good wash to get all the fluff and lint out from it. With the filter out, check inside for any foreign objects such as nails, screws, coins or hair grips or anything else that may have fallen out of your pocket during a wash. And also, Give the impeller at the back a spin just to make sure it turns freely. There's nothing else inside there before you put the filter back in. When you put your filter back in, make sure it's nice and tight so no water can leak out in the future and then replace the cover. I've laid the machine onto its back as we're looking at the hose that runs from the tub here to the pump chamber, which is called the sump hose. Now, if this blocks, it will stop the machine from draining. So make sure you put something underneath, like a container or ideally towels for the water. And I'm going to use some water pliers to disconnect the hose where it connects to the pump chamber by releasing this Jubilee clip. So if you look inside the hose here, you can see how an item will get stuck, like a coin or a hair grip, screws, or even a sock could get stuck inside. So make sure that you check for any blockages and clear anything out that you find. I'm also going to disconnect the hose where it connects to the tub here by using a Torx head screwdriver to undo this clip. Should be able to just loosen it and then take the hose off. Next, I'm going to remove the hose that connects to the pressure chamber here by undoing this Jubilee clip using a pair of pliers. With the sump hose removed, I can use a screwdriver just to give the pressure chamber itself a clean out and remove any lime scale as well that may have built up in there. Now that all those areas have been checked, I can replace the sump hose, firstly connecting it to the pressure chamber. Now I can replace the sump hose onto the tub. 
to make sure it's on nice and firmly before tightening the clip with a Torx head screwdriver. And then finally, replace the sump hose onto the pump chamber at the top, making sure it's on fully before tightening the Jubilee clip around. Now I can turn the machine upright again to test. The next area to check for a blockage is the outlet hose. At the back of the machine, to make it easier to access the drain hose, I'm going to remove this back panel by undoing the one Torx head screw at the bottom. Make sure you hold on to the panel as it will drop down. Once the screw is removed, simply lift the panel out the way. The drain hose goes into the back of the machine here and is held in place by a clip at the top and also these two clips lower down. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the clip at the top. You can just use your fingers to pull it away from the machine or you can use a flat headed screwdriver if you need to. Next, I need to remove these two lower clips. Again, I'm just going to use my fingers but you may find a pair of pliers is much easier. I'm going to lay the washing machine on its back, being careful as it is heavy. Drop the filter cover down and unclip it from the bottom. And then to remove the kick plate, I need to undo one Torx head screw and then shift the kick plate to the right and remove. Once you remove the kick panel, just take out the emergency drain hose. One more Torx head screw holding the pump chamber on here. Take out and then tilt the pump chamber back to release. Pull it out to access the drain hose. Now I've just put a towel on the floor as I need to remove the drain hose from the pump chamber and there might be quite a bit of water in the drain hose. I'm going to use a pair of pliers to remove the Jubilee clip and on this machine it's essential that you remove the Jubilee clip completely The machine's now upright again, as I can pull the drain hose out. With the hose removed from the machine, a great way of getting rid of any blockages is to put a screwdriver in one end and then pour water down the other end and then force the water through by spinning it around as hard as you can. Now, it's a good idea to do this outside as it can get very messy. Once you're happy that the hose is cleared of any blockages, you can then refit it to the machine. To fit the clip, make sure that this little lip goes inside the machine at the bottom, like so, and then you just pinch the top get it in place, nice and firmly. Now I need to just reposition these clips into the back of the cabinet from the inside. Being very careful not to cut yourself on any sharp pieces. I can now refit the back panel. Lay the machine onto its back one more time.
and then position the Jubilee clip over the end. Refit the pump chamber to the front of the cabinet, just making sure that the lip at the top goes outside. That should ensure that the screw hole lines up. To refit the kick panel, I'm just going to push the emergency drain hose through. And then there's two clips on the far left that just slot into the cabinet. And then before you slot the right hand side in, just make sure to lift up this, which is the emergency door release, and push that through. And then fit these two clips on the far right into position. You can then fit the screw, which holds the kick panel in place. Refit the cover and clip it in place. And then simply lift the machine up again and connect. So there we have it, the eSpares video on how to diagnose and fix blockage issues in your Bosch washing machine. Give this video a thumbs up if we've helped you and subscribe for more handy how-to videos. Find all the spares and accessories you will ever need at the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.